Congratulations! You have just finished the time-consuming and tedious process of conducting interviews and transcribing them. You want to analyze interviews and make sense of the data you just collected. In this video, I will teach you how to do qualitative analysis of interviews. We will use one of the most recommended tools for conducting qualitative data analysis, which is Envivo 14. This is the latest version of this software. My name is Bernard Mugo from Surviving Research. Let's first understand some basics of qualitative data analysis. One of the most common approaches to qualitative data analysis is thematic analysis. Thematic analysis involves searching for similarities and patterns in qualitative data sets such as interview transcripts. The observable patterns and similarities are therefore referred to as themes. There are two main approaches to thematic analysis including the inductive and deductive approaches. An inductive approach to thematic analysis involves a allowing the data to determine your themes. In the inductive approach to thematic analysis, we will first code the data and then find the relationships between the codes to develop themes. An example of a majorly inductive approach is reflexive thematic analysis. The deductive approach to thematic analysis involves coming to the data with preconceived themes you expect to find reflected based on theory or existing knowledge. An example of a majorly deductive approach is the codebook approach. This video will focus on how to do qualitative analysis of interviews using the reflexive thematic analysis approach, which is an inductive approach. The reflexive thematic analysis approach was popularized by Braun and Clark. The reflexive thematic analysis involves six major steps in qualitative analysis of interviews. One, familiarizing with the data. Two, generating initial codes. Three, generating themes. 4. Reviewing potential themes 5. Defining and naming themes and 6. Producing the report Let's go through the steps together For this video, I'll be using an example of a study examining the experiences of patients with prostate cancer This study has a general research question of what are the experiences of people with prostate cancer Now, the first thing that we have to do in the analysis of interviews through the qualitative approach is to choose the tool that we are going to use to analyze the data In this video, I'm using Envivo 14 as I had previously indicated now this is how Envivo 14 looks. So the first thing that we are going to do once we open Envivo is to go to new project and name this project according to the title of our research. And this project is about experiences of people with prostate cancer. And I click next, then I click on create project and Envivo is going to create our project. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is to drag and drop my interview transcripts. So I drag and drop my interview transcripts into Envivo. Remember, we are going to import the interview transcripts in the file section. This is the data area. And then we have the code section where we are going to do our coding. So back to the file section. So I want to do some coding on these two interview transcripts using the six steps of the reflexive thematic analysis process. Now, the first step of the reflexive thematic analysis process is familiarizing with the data. In this case, our data is these two interview transcripts. Now, you have very many chances of going through the first step of reflexive thematic analysis, which is when you are doing your transcription, you will normally familiarize yourself sufficiently with your data. When you are transcribing these two interviews, you would be familiarizing yourself with the data. You can also take time to cross-check between the transcribed interview transcripts and the recordings that you did in your interviews. So that's a way of familiarizing. And finally, you have to go through the interview transcripts after you transcribe them. Read through each one of them and understand them effectively. So that's how we familiarize yourself with the data, which is the first step of reflexive thematic analysis. Let me interrupt this video for a minute and inform you of my services. My first type of service that I offer is consulting for anything related to qualitative data analysis using NVivo. You hop on a video call with me through Microsoft Teams or Zoom and I will help you become a pro with NVivo in a few hours. I also provide a done-for-you data analysis service. I do the manual coding and provide a data analysis report with the necessary visual. Some kind of visuals I do include tables, hierarchy chart, and the framework matrix. Email or message me right now. Details in the description. The second step of reflexive thematic analysis is generating initial codes. So 
we are going to go to the code section in Envivo 14 and we're going to develop some codes which we are going to drag and drop in here. And then let me expand this completely, make you see clearly. So when we develop the initial codes, we are going to move to the next step. We have this transcript with participant one. Remember, this study is about experiences of people with prostate cancer. Let's read A is for the interviewer, P is the participant. I'll go through this here in terms of your health. Do you think you view your health differently um, sort of now compared before you were diagnosed? Then the participant says, um, it's interesting. I guess I'm probably a little bit more health conscious. So we can develop a code here. We can just say more health conscious. What I do here is I simply drag and drop this statement in there. And then this dialog box comes out where I develop the code and the code will directly go in there. Remember this is, if I click here, you'll see this is in the code section of NVivo. So that's one of our first codes. And I'm just going through all the data and developing codes without thinking too much because you can always revise your codes. You can always delete some of them, merge them, as we will see in the next steps of reflexive thematic analysis. A, who is the interviewee says, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean to say that I do a great deal more about it. Mm, um, um. So have you changed anything about sort of about the way you live? Oh, sort of, I try to keep a better eye on my weight. I've certainly lost weight. So we can call this statement actively manages weight or we can say more conscious about weight that's another code i click ok but um, i also take statins which has a bit of neutralizing effect so we can code this as takes prescriptions to preserve health and click ok my gp is fairly happy with the way i live and i see him every six months and so and do the psa periodically so we can code this as regular health checkups and click OK. So these are some initial codes that I am generating as I go through the interview transcripts. Remember, my coding is inductive. That means I'm letting the data tell me all the time in the codes that I develop. Now, here are the codes we have developed from the interview transcript one. I want us to go back to the files and open the interview transcript two. Remember, I'm just doing a small section of coding because I wanted this video to be a bit short. I've done other videos that are 40 minutes and I'll link those videos here that are more detailed. Let's go to interview transcript 2. Let's go to the code section and let's develop more codes here. So I was wondering if you could tell me if you think you view your health a bit differently sort of after of your diagnosis compared to before your diagnosis. Um, So that's a difficult question. Soft love. Soft love. Sorry to throw that at you. So the participant says I've been pretty conscious at not eating too much junk food and not to drink soft drink, drink water and not much alcohol. So I'm pretty reasonable health conscious all the time. And I guess after the melanoma was taken out in 1990, I was more conscious of keeping covered up and things. So I code that as more conscious about health. Remember, when you are doing initial coding, you do not deal too much into the codes because you have to go back and revise them later. But you just go coming up with codes as you observe them. Remember, we are doing inductive approach to coding. We are letting the data and how the interviewees express themselves determine our codes. Do you do anything differently compared to what you used to? I mean, I do it a little bit more healthy. So we can code this actually, just this section. We can code that as healthy diet, but I always try to be active and conscious of trying to have a healthy diet again we can add this statement about a healthy diet on that code. Remember, you can add coding references to a code. I always try to be active. So we can say physically active as a code. Then, I mean, I used to, I rode my bike to work for years and years from the city down to the airport. Windsurfing for many years and swimming, it is, I've tried to be relatively active. So we can include this whole statement representing physical activity or being physically active. We drag and drop that under the physically active code. Now, that's how you develop initial codes. And I can close these two transcripts here. And here are 
some initial codes that we have generated here from our data we can see more health conscious more conscious about weight takes prescriptions to preserve health regular health checkups these are just some of the initial codes now the third step of reflexive thematic analysis is generating themes the themes will come from our codes for example if we look at our codes here remember we're in the coding section i have these codes we can observe a relationship between the codes which will inform the emergence of our themes for example more health conscious more conscious about weight takes prescriptions to preserve health regular health checkups so more relaxed about life views physical activity positively walking golfing unfavorable weather conditions more conscious about health healthy diet physically active lack of sufficient time to exercise if you expand here you see we are in the code section i right click and i want to create a new code although i click on create a new code what i'm creating is a theme we are generating themes according to the relationship or patterns between the codes barriers to physical activity is one of the themes i have observed so i create it as a code but it's not a code why because i'm going to categorize or to drag and drop so many codes in there to form a theme lack of sufficient time i drag and drop it under barriers to physical activity okay let's find other barriers to physical activity we have unfavorable weather conditions drag and drop that that's a barrier to physical activity so those are the two codes related to barriers to physical activity remember this is generating themes and themes originate from the relationship between our codes so i right click i go to aggregate coding and we can see we have two files or two participants files represent the participants and four references so for the theme if i click on the plus sign here two codes are used to generate the themes of barriers to physical activity and the two codes are lack of sufficient time to exercise and unfavorable weather conditions you can see physical activity is mentioned many times in the codes including walking golfing views physical activity positively so we can categorize this as physical activities and this is a theme so what i want to do is under the theme of physical activities as developed here i want to drag golfing walking these are the codes related to that theme Be physically active views physical activity positively so everything related to physical activity we put it under the theme of physical activities now views about health is another theme that's very prevalent in our code for example more health conscious that one is views about health more conscious about weight views about health we drag and drop them more conscious about health healthy diet so that is views about health so we have we again we right click aggregate coding from children we can see we have classified some codes under that theme now takes prescriptions to preserve health regular health checkups more relaxed about life healthy diets all these are activities or current activities to maintain health so we can have a theme current activities to maintain health okay so takes prescriptions to preserve health i drag that regular health checkups okay more relaxed about life that one i will not put it there first but healthy diet so those are current activities to maintain health now here are the four themes we have generated so our themes have originated from our codes that we did in the second step and this is the third step we've just done which is generating themes the fourth step of reflexive thematic analysis which is an inductive approach to thematic analysis is reviewing the potential themes now we need to go in and maybe check whether our codes relate to our themes and also check the themes and see whether we review them in a way so if we review this theme views about health more health conscious more conscious about weight more conscious about health so views about health i can right click and go to code properties in nvivo i can call or rename this theme remember we are reviewing these themes current health perceptions 
Remember, this is the fourth step of reflexive thematic analysis, which is reviewing themes. And this one is physical activities. So we can leave that theme. And then we have current activities to maintain health. We can rename this. Again, I right click on code properties. We can call this current health promotion activities. And then barriers to physical activity. We have reviewed our themes. Normally you check the codes and how they relate and whether the codes contribute to the emergence of our theme. So that's the fourth step step of reflexive thematic analysis which is reviewing themes. The fifth step of reflexive thematic analysis is defining and naming themes. We have renamed some of the themes already and we might need to go in there and right click for each theme and go to code properties and provide a description or we define each theme. So for example, current health perceptions, we would describe this theme as this includes the interviewee's health perceptions presently. That's a description or a definition of that theme. We go to the next theme, we go to code properties, physical activities. So we can say these are the different exercises that the interviewees are currently involved with. And then I click okay so that's how we conduct the fifth step of reflexive thematic analysis which is defining and naming themes after we define and name themes especially in envivo you can always go to share export export code book and i want to click okay and i want to show you something i want to show you and this is the code book i want to show you these are the descriptions that we add on our themes you can get these descriptions and draw a table that has each theme and a definition or a description of the theme so that's how we define and name themes which is the fifth step of reflexive thematic analysis. Now, the sixth step in reflexive thematic analysis, which is an inductive approach to thematic analysis, is producing the report. So I have a report that I have produced here previously. And when producing the report, of course, this might be chapter four or the results chapter in your thesis or dissertation or research project. We start with the introduction. We describe the setting, which can be, the setting can be in the methodology section. We have the data collection. That's how you collected the data. Also, this can be in the methodology section. But what's most important to include is this, the data analysis process. Data analysis process is the process that we use to analyze our interviews, the qualitative data analysis approach that we use. In this case, we use the reflexive thematic analysis approach. So this section describes the six steps of reflexive thematic analysis approach. And you can see, I also include tables that we explore from NVivo. So I have previously done a video about the different kind of visuals that you are going to see in this report and these visuals including tables, charts, hierarchy charts like this, this kind of visuals. I've done a video that I will attach on the different ways to visualize your report in NVivo. Now in producing the report we include tables. We also include a description of the themes. For example you can see here that in my results I have the main theme that emerged after conducting the reflexive thematic analysis process included ethnicity, self-perception, other people's perception. So you can see that's how we present the data. We describe the themes and the codes and then we provide the excerpts. So we italicize some excerpts sometimes to show what the participants said. So we provide a description of the codes or themes and then we provide excerpts to show what the participants said. I'm going to attach a link to this final results report so that you can take your time to go through it and to see how you can come up with the report after conducting the reflexive thematic analysis process. Thank you. Remember, I provide done for you data analysis services and consulting services for any problem or challenge related to NVivo. So check the link and email in the description and talk to me right away. Thank you.